Joyce <laughs> from Kathy by Julie at theintimacydojo.com. And read the how from readaboutsex.com. All right, what's the question today, Kathy? We had someone write in and say that she loves our advice and she wants to follow it, but she's finding herself overanalyzing everything and talking herself out of it. Do you overanalyze our advice? How dare you? Are you overanalyzing this video too? Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> it's good advice. Just do it. <laughs> it's really easy to overanalyze, especially when we're afraid that we can get something wrong or afraid that we'll get everything wrong. Um, and if you were brought up in a family that was really critical, that could be part of the problem. I, Go ahead. No, I would say if, if you have a buddy, get a little, you know, video advice buddy. Watch the same videos together and then hold each other accountable to test practice the advice on each other. So that is, those are like good baby steps there. And then you can start test practicing them on, you know, people that are less consequential in your life. To check out, you know, people at the grocery store. Start practicing on, on, on other people that you have, you know, a little bit of contact with. And then build up to the Thanksgiving dinner with the family and all that, you know, where it's really in the trenches. <laughs> Excuse me. One of the things I used to do is I thought there was one right way to do everything and I had to figure out what that was. That's our way. There isn't actually one right way. And He's wrong. We get to be self-expressed and when we, we don't have to look like everybody else or one particular person to be okay. When we start building up that muscle as well, that can make it easier to step out and try new things. The other thing I would say is make a list of what are you afraid is going to happen if you do take this advice. And also, what are you afraid is going to happen, might happen, if the advice works? Yeah, if you're successful. Sometimes we overanalyze things because we don't know what the actual fears are underneath mm -hmm. that are holding us back. So get those fears out in the open, write them down so they're less scary because they're on paper and not rattling around in your head. And just see what they are and share that with your little video accountability buddy. Yeah. Let us know what you think. Does this work for you? Does this feel like it will help? Leave a message in the comments below and uh, subscribe to this channel if it's helpful. Bye. I watched them. Oh, no music. <laughs>